eventually a foam hinge might start to separate and a lot of we see we get a lot of questions of how do I fix this <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm James with Motion RC, back with another quick tip. And today's tip is to talk about this problem you might run into if you fly foam electric aircraft. Um, eventually, whether by crash, um, you know, something um, out of your control, or just usage over time, eventually a foam hinge might start to separate. And a lot of, we see, we get a lot of questions of how do I fix this? Well, today's quick tip is here to talk to you about how to fix it and three of the options that are really at your disposal. Uh, in no particular order, but you have the ability to grab hinge tape. So this is our Benchcraft hinge tape. It just comes like a roll like this. Um, you have the option for foam tack. This is one of the tubes that come with a free wing aircraft, but uh, it's basically the same, um, you know, foam safe glue. It's malleable. So even though it'll, it'll secure, um, but it also stays playful enough to be able to move a control surfaces or allow a control surface to move. And then you have the option for uh, hinges, like nylon hinges like these. Now these are the hinges actually that come with a lot of foam electric aircraft. Those are there just for this situation. They are there to fix an issue. A lot of times we get questions, hey, do I have to install these? And the answer is no. You don't need to install those right off the bat, but they're there and they're good to save in case you run into an issue. So if you're looking for more strength in your control surface than a nylon hinge like this, or you can check out our Benchcraft lineup, Dubro. There's a lot of RC accessories out there with even more secure hinges. Um, it all depends on you know what you wanna do when fixing it. But basically how it would work, um, I would say for an aileron rip like this, this one's really long. If it was just a little corner, I might just dab a little glue in there or a piece of the uh, hinge tape and I'll put it on a, a non-showy side, so on the bottom side, and that would be enough to hold it together. But when you get a break this big, I tend to just finish the job like so. I'll just take it off and I'll start over. So now again, if I wanted to go with hinges, I would measure them up and I would I would drive two little holes and I'd glue the hinges in. So I'd probably put them all into the surface first. I'd hinge the entire surface and then I would fit it in in one shot and I would call it a day if uh, I was using the hinges. But for my purposes, I tend to not use hinges on uh, foam. I don't know why, I've just always had good luck with uh, glue um, over tape or anything. You know, the foam tack glue, is always great because you can just beat it right along the edge and for a control surface I'll put it on a little thicker but I'll come basically completely across because this is going to create a nice seal and then I'll come to the other side and then just it's already fit where it needs to be and then I'll just hold it there and let's give it about five minutes to dry and we'll come right back. So we have about five minutes just to show you. Now the best thing again about foam tack, you're still able to move the aileron around, but it has strength to be able to be held just by uh, the control surface itself. So I would consider that a fix and I would be more than comfortable to go fly this this way. But again, you can add tape. Some people like a combination of hinges, tape, or hinges, glue, glue, and tape. Uh, it's completely up to you, but if I was gonna use the tape, again, I'd just peel off a couple strips and you know, place maybe one, two, or three just along, you know, connecting the wing to the control surface itself or whatever surface you need to um, to go with. But having all these options available to you is something that's great, um, and you should keep some spare parts around uh, the workbench. But hinge tape, I love it. I, I don't actually use it as much for hinges as I do for everything else. This is my go-to tape for taping any sort of servo connections together or um, taping aerials down in the plane, keeping wires separated. I always use hinge tape. For me, I go with the foam tack, but remember, you have three options, whether you go with hinges, uh, foam tack, glue, or hinge tape, then uh, you should be able to repair a very simple problem and be out flying in minutes. So guys, that'll do it for this quick tip video. Again, check the links in the description. We have links to our tapes, glues, and hinges there. And as always, remember, sub, spin, and win happening every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern. We spin the wheel after picking a random subscriber and give away some fabulous prizes. And to be eligible, all you gotta do is subscribe to this YouTube channel, click that notification bell, and 
and then tune in on Fridays to see if you won to be able to claim your prize. That'll do it for me here with this week's quick tip, and we'll see you next week with another one.